George is the Humanities Research Centre for the 21st century. It's providing us with a space for collaborating between different academics and different disciplines, for incubating new research ideas. And it's also a space to enable us to engage more with publics who might be interested in our research and to bring those people in to the University of Oxford to discuss our research with us. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all here to the Radcliffe Humanities Building. My name is Andrew Hamilton, the Vice-Chancellor of the University, and it's a, a great pleasure to be back here. We were here, what, Shira, six months ago, celebrating this magnificent renovation of the Radcliffe Humanities Building. And now we return in those six months. A great deal has been done in this building, not least the thinking up of the best acronym in Oxford. <laughs> and and that's, quite an, that's quite an achievement. And we're here to celebrate TORCH, the Oxford Centre for Research in the Humanities. <laughs> and uh, Oxford Research Centre. I'm, I'm, it would help if I get the spelling right. And, and, and of course, it is so much more than a, than a brilliant acronym. It is an opportunity here in a single site for research into the humanities to take on a different feel, a different flavour, a different level of collaboration. It's an opportunity as well to do something that Torch will very much focus on, and that's to participate, to lead the university's campaign of promoting the humanities and very much emphasising its place within the public debate. Humanities have got an enormous amount to contribute beyond academia and beyond the library. There's a huge appetite, a huge interest in the kinds of research we do here. And I think it's really important that we speak to people outside of our own fields and outside of our own institution. I think science really needs to engage with the humanities because the humanities can help us look at um, questions that we're trying to answer in a new way. And that's often the way to make a breakthrough, to, to look at something in a new way. And, and having a different perspective just can only help in doing that. I think this is a really exciting moment um, in the academic world where we're starting to, to talk to each other for the first time. I mean, in a way, we've been doing it for, for ages in Oxford. The college system has got people from different subjects talking to each other. But to do it on a kind of institutional department level, I think is what's, what's going to be really exciting. The low-lying fruit really lies in the connections between subjects. Uh, we've been battling in mathematics and science in our own silos, but actually we might find that we have the language to help others to answer their questions and vice versa. I always thought that um, Oxford academics in particular were stuck in the library all the time and actually as soon as you step outside of the library and you start engaging with the public in terms of disseminating your own research, thinking about how you're going to present what you've found out and make it interesting to a much more general audience and interact with specialists in other fields, then I find I've benefited a lot from that exchange and I'm pretty sure that other academics have discovered that too. My research focuses on early modern Catholicism. It's obviously a, a huge field and it's one that really cannot be pinned down into one particular discipline. As a historian, I'm constantly engaging with literature, with art and culture, um, with philosophy and theology, and with history of science, where I really am being asked to deal with technical terms, difficult medical issues and so on. So, I can't pin my research down into, into one particular field at all and that's why Torch is so valuable to me. I think that humanities can contribute to understanding and realising the democratic vision of the university and learning as being open and accessible to all people within society and by that means I think we can also engage with the public and learn from them as much as they learn from us researchers here in the university. Crossing disciplines is at the heart of my research. 
Now, as my research focuses on women's travels, um, many of the women that I look at were incredibly diverse. They were poets, writers, anthropologists, literary critics and journalists. And so I am always constantly drawing on different disciplines, whether that be English literature, modern languages or geography. And through this, I'm understanding the complexities of these women on their own terms and also challenging perhaps what historians have thought of previously of the 20th century. It's often at the intersection between the pure academic research we do and what happens in the wider world of culture, heritage, performing arts that we can actually begin to, to, to showcase um, the, that, that sort of transition from, from research into, into implementation. For my research, crossing disciplines has been hugely beneficial because it's enabled me to think outside of the things I know and to explore areas that I really couldn't do without other people, without, uh, without their bodies of knowledge. And together I think we can produce much more nuanced and much more diverse research. Yeah.